We are here with my son. We are in a school parking lot. We are working on his Integra. What we're gonna do is, we're gonna change out the sparkulators. My hands are dirty already. We're gonna change out the sparkulators over here. And what other place is the best but a school playground? So this is the best place to do it. Anyway, this is my son. There also may or may not be a lady in this bus that looked at me really funny because she just parked up. But that's okay because my son is going to learn today. You put the tools in the car, right? Yeah. Cool. We got the tools in the car. He's checking his oil. Oh, boy. I need oil. Hold on. Pretty you got to dip it first to check. Are you recording? Yes. With my phone. Cam my, my my recording device, which is a, a Sony A7S II. No. I have... What the... Hold on. Sorry. You want to hold that up for me a little bit? Where is my... I have no oil. He has no oil in there. He didn't want to hold his dipstick up close enough for us to see. I have no oil. Jesus Christ. I have no oil in what my do you, car. What do you think about that? So I noticed my the smell. My son is doing a vlog. I have no oil in my car. My son doesn't understand that you have to check your oil regularly. He hasn't checked his oil in approximately maybe a month. And his oil has evaporated. I don't know if it evaporated, if it burned, if it ran away. It might have, maybe the engine produced so much horsepower no, that sorry, it scared well, the I oil array. He I has this much, he's, he's got just a little so. bit of oil in there. So anyway, you guys haven't seen this car in a while. It's exactly the same except the rust is coming back. It's bad. It's worse than it was before. And the reason being is because when we sanded it down we exposed more rust. More rust. These things are getting really, really brittle. You can't really tell, but so these are gonna pop off Dan, eventually. Dan, we What's have up? Oil That's good. You don't need oil. Think about it, your car is lighter now because it doesn't have oil. It'll go faster. Faster to the scrapyard. Anyway, we're done roasting my son for a bit for his vlog. Just to make myself look really mean, even though I'm not that mean in real life. Anyway, it's rusty. More rust. The spot where I fixed is rusty. What's up? We're gonna have to run to Canadian's uh, cave and like. What if you just steal. What if you just steal oil out of this bus? Well, the lady's. I said that as a joke, but the lady in the bus looked at me because one of the windows is open in the bus. <laughs> Shit. We're gonna have to leave this location soon. Yeah, I've done that before. That's okay. No, it's got a little bit. If, can you see it on the stick? Yeah, like a little. If you can see it on the stick, then it has enough oil to run. It's just low. It's like if you drank a shot of water versus having a water bottle. The water bottle's nice, but a shot of water will get you going. It's on it. Look at that. Yeah. Anyway, there's there's this kind of weird debris on the dipstick of his vehicle. We're going to swoop this off. I'm looking at it here, but you can't really tell. I don't even know. It's pretty sludgy. It's pretty gross. I don't know. Is it more? Does it come back every time? It comes back every time. Okay. Um, what I think happened is my son is not actually putting the dipstick inside the correct hole. I think he's just touching the side of the block because it's pretty close to it. So clean it first. I'll, I'll help you out. Yeah. Oh, this, so you insert. So let me, me let me let me show you how to do. My son is not very smart at this. So inside there is a little tubular device. You can't really see. Uh, no, you're not gonna be able to see. Anyway. So if you get it inside the actual hole of the dipstick, yeah. you can actually get a reading instead of just scooping shit off the side of your engine block. Yeah. So now when we check it, it's clean. It's clean. That's but great. there's no oil. That's wonderful. Like you're it's still clean. out of oil. It's anyway. So clean. It's crazy. Did you junk? Just... Where did it go? <laughs> Dan. Where did it go? Why would you throw my dipstick? <laughs> you don't need it. There's no oil. Oh my what is it gonna dip if there's no oil? Oh my god. Hold on. This is an extraction device called my hand. If it touches this, it will burn. Let's see if I can do this without burning my hand. I hope you burn that shit. Look at that. We extract and elated the dipstick. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to put this in here in the hole. Hakeem can't get it in the hole. Holy Jesus. Look, I touched the block for I touched the block for a second. For a second. Damn. I know it's disgusting. So if you look in here, 
there's antifreeze just pouring off the side of your block. That green stuff is antifreeze. Yeah, it's, that's great. So that's not very good actually. No. Sorry I missed this good quality stuff. My son was trying to learn how to put the spark plugs inside his car. He has put it <laughs> upside down and now he cannot retrieve it. It you is. have a magnet? It is at magnet? my house. Oh my it is God. upside down in the hole. I do not know if the car will run, but we have to drive it home. So we're gonna we're gonna drive it home on three cylinders. <laughs> it's fine. It's good. It'll run on three cylinders. Put some gum on the end of the extension, and then you can retrieve it. Try it. He's got the bubble gum. Okay. He's gonna chew the gum. This is the only way. How did I can end this video? How to extract upside down spark plug? <laughs> My son is now gonna put the bubble gum on the ratchet and put it into the hole. Alright, so what we're gonna try and do is take the bubble gum. He's got the bubble gum on the end of the ratchet, on the end of the extension, and he's gonna try to extract it. Is the bubble gum in it? So I put it inside of it or? No, like put on, turn it around and use that side. This way you're actually able to get it out after. Push down hard and pull up. Did you get it? Did you lose the gun? You know, I thought it would be a good idea to bring the tool with the little claw on it. But for some reason, I didn't bring it. No, like I did ask thought, I was like, maybe, maybe that would be a good idea. I don't know if this is a good idea or not. But I'm going to put this back in here. He's going to leave my tools. Oh my gosh, it's expensive. Two dollars. We're going to see if she runs on the three cylinders that she's got left. There's a spark plug in there. It might bounce around. Oh, stop it. You got your spark plug out. <laughs> so that, that, that works better than the cup. You got your sparkulator out. Look at that. Look how easy that was. Now just remember, this side in. Oh, it's got your bubble gum all over my hand. My son's gonna give me chlamydias. Things like this in life are bound to happen. Sparkulator is upside down. Other things, you know, <laughs> I, but I had a brain fart and I couldn't think of anything stupid to say, which is really odd because usually I'm full of stupid things to say, but basically we're good, everything's fine. Look, at least you have new spark plugs going in now. Look, you lower them by hand, now you can tighten them. That's good. Don't let the mechanic scare you and tell you that oil in your cylinders is a bad thing. You gotta hit point zero four four. So somewhere in between there is point zero four four. The last one in. Let's get some ASMR on this ratchet. Let's see him start this start this puppy up. And it sounds smoother than it's ever sounded. We'll hop inside this device. It's automotive mobile. This hood does not close. And he's just gonna leave it. He doesn't care. Whoa. Why did it stall? Whoa. This car did a stall. What did he do? So a little bit of an update, we're getting flat towed right now by Mr. Josh because uh, the car just, my son's car just broke down. I don't understand I'm why. I'm not getting this footage. It just, uh, <laughs> it just shit the bed. We got 1% battery on the camera, so we're getting the good stuff. 
But uh, oh, the camera's gonna shut off in like three seconds. Okay, I'll see you guys later.